It's when you come round that corner that you understand what Gary and Helen saw in this site. It's that, just countryside spreading away into the distance like a little oasis. And actually, when you look at the house with its timber cladding, you can see that it's having a nice conversation with all that sort of nature on that side of the site. And the house itself, it looks very finished. Bricklayer Gary's realized his long-held dream of building a house for his own family. And together with Helen, they've created a truly bespoke family home. Hello. Hello. Hello, Gary. Hi, you all right? Hello, Helen. How are Hi. you? Lovely to see you. How are you? Good, thanks. Look at this. Hello. It's very finished out there. Very finished in here. Isn't We're really happy with it, aren't we? Really happy, yeah. I think it's an it awesome looks thing. like a home, finally. It yeah. looks really lovely, doesn't it? I'm really pleased. They've transformed what was a mud pit during the build into an idyllic home and garden with a lawn to rival Wimbledon's centre court. The heart of the home is a smart, open-plan kitchen, diner and lounge. Upstairs, there are four elegant bedrooms and three boutique bathrooms, a testament to their immense efforts. You've been busy. <laughs> yeah, it's been a madhouse, aren't they? Yeah, we've got there, I think, yeah. I see the stairs, they look nice with a little sort of stub balustrade and the solid wall. Yeah. Another idea of yours. That looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, worked out well. well, yeah. And you've gone for some storage in under the staircase. They look really good, and they're really useful as well. Yeah. Gold pendant lights add a touch of glamour to this understated entrance hall, and cool concrete effect tiles draw you towards the main open plan living space. Ah, so this is the main event, the big family space. Yeah. Sitting, dining, cooking. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's been perfect, with the, particularly with the lovely weather that we've been having. Feels like we're on holiday. I like yeah. it. It's nice when you move into a house and you've still got that sense yeah. of yeah. novelty and holiday. Yeah. And... yeah, it is. It's nice. The high-spec kitchen with Gary's bespoke touches stands out with its dark blue hand-painted units, brass accents, and oak worktops, which contrast well against the gleaming quartz-topped island. But when it came to my suggestion of using different flooring materials to zone specific areas in this large room, they opted to play it safe. I see that you went for a, the same floor finish right the way through. We did, yeah. We were originally going to put wood, uh, real wood, on the, under the set ease. But when we um, we bought the tiles, we bought enough for the full room, didn't we? And then we thought we thought it flowed ways. nice as well, didn't we? I mean, like it opened, it connected the hallway to the to the yeah. kitchen. And you've got your storage either side of the rather small television. And I mean, cooking, it still feels like it's like a huge TV when I'm back there. So, but you love never it, have so. a big enough TV. I, 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 yeah, I think it's probably a good size for the size of the room. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Helen's eye for interior design stretches to even the smallest room in the house, with striking leopard print wallpaper adorning the walls in the downstairs toilet. Next door, she's created an imaginative playroom for Rose, and her vision for a gentleman-style snug has come to fruition. So this is the sort of the more grown-up room. I like this, this uh, green's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that was risky, wasn't it? And then when she brought it out, and did all these different greens, and I was just a bit like, really? But Works really well yeah. with the brass of the yeah, lights and the nice. tan sofa. It's, it's sort of nice colours. Teamed up with ambient lighting, the dark green walls also complement the engineered oak flooring and a luxurious cowhide rug. And the design ideas don't stop there. So then up here you've got one guest bedroom, Rose's room, Another guest bedroom. I like the way the, the window lines up with the corridor. Yeah. And then look at that bathroom. The impressive family bathroom centres around a large podium bath with marble tiling, simple black fittings, and of course for Gary, a mirror, which is also a TV. That's a pretty swanky looking bathroom. That's nice. I like that. Pretty nice, isn't Start it? Start out some hotel magazines, did you? <laughs> <laughs> the master bedroom also has the makings of a plush hotel suite with designer lighting and an opulent ensuite with its floating vanity unit and steel framed shower screen. All topped off with panoramic views of the countryside beyond. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. That really makes this room. 
Yeah, it's incredible. One of the things we discussed was having a bed head corridor here yeah. to come around to get the bed facing that view. But I think this layout certainly, it certainly works. And you went in the end for a, an external sort of Juliet balcony rather than bringing it inside. So we just worried about what it would look like on the inside. Yeah, it was taking a bit, a bit of space away from the, from the windows. But we've, I think we've got a, a good result in the end with what we stuck to. Well, it's a great room, a real Thank success. You. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Over the past year, the couple have poured their all into making this a truly unique home that meets the needs of their growing family, and Gary's proved his skills stretch far beyond bricklaying. Congratulations, you built a house that you actually live in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. That's weird. Because, I mean, you've you, you built hundreds of houses, but you take them to a certain point and then you leave and you probably never even go back. Now, once they're probably just before plaster, I'll never walk in them again, so now... Um been experience, isn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. How have you found the whole process? I found it very difficult, but I have enjoyed it. Definitely taking its toll, and I'm really ready for us not to be doing it anymore, but... It has. <laughs> I'm a little bit sick of talking about it. I think I'm boring people to death, because you, you just talk about it, because it's just consumed your life. Yeah. So you're looking forward to sort of having your lives back, yeah. and time together, and time as a family. Yeah, that's, yeah that's see my part. daughter. <laughs> yes, get you getting to see your daughter. And she's really adapted to it really well. I mean, she, she loves it. So, somewhere now she's going to grow up in as well. Yeah. Despite overrunning by four months on their original schedule, the sheer scale and quality of the end result is a well-earned reward for a slightly longer build. I just wonder how their budget fared. You originally wanted to build for about two, three, five, but I know last time we met you were sort of eight, ten grand over that. What did you end up spending? Um, we're probably on about 50, 60 K over budget. So we're, we're all in for around 550. OK, so plot and land, so about 300k on the yeah. build and the landscape. I mean, that's pretty good. I think if we didn't spend that little bit extra, the house wouldn't be what it would be. It, need, it deserved to have that money spent on it. Do you know what it's worth? Yeah, so we've only had the one valuation so far, and it's came back at a, a conservative price. He feels is a good price of 750. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it Smile. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Gary and Helen haven't compromised on quality and chose to up-spec the cladding, windows, kitchen and bathrooms. But they also hit unexpected costs with the garage build and tricky groundworks. So I'm impressed that they still saved 200 grand by self-building. The amount of effort that you both put in. I know you're in the trade, but even so, you know, the care and attention to detail has been really, really impressive. It's got a lovely feel. Thank you. <laughs> There's not many people that'll have a house as unique as this. Well done. You know, big respect for what you've achieved. <laughs>